Hello friends, today we are going to be looking into how to take XPath for an element if a text containing double quotes. I just show to you example. So this is the example. So this text containing double quotes, right? So how we can take XPath for this uh, text? Now I'm going to be show you in real time. Just open Chrome browser. So happyeasygo.com. So this is the site here I'm going to be here I'm going to be select hotel click on happy easy search so the page will be displayed all the hotel information right so here you can find few hotels does not contain this uh, detail basic detail deal of the day and uh, what is the next book now? Uh, the few option. This is the some uh, uh, the booking uh, availability uh, that's not available. Few hotels. So now I'm going to be take export for this uh, element. Okay, right click on inspect. So there. So I just into the size. Better how to see little bit okay fine sorry so now I'm going to be take export for this one I just okay this is the element only I'm going to be click on so click on this inspect click on this element so here only this is the D only to be highlighted right so I'm going to be over this one so this is the okay. this is the first div, second div, third div. So like that, all the hotel information will be stored at the specific div. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to be ta uh, open this first div. Okay. Next, inside this clear fix hotel detail only, this element is available. Okay. Now I'm going to be uh, move on cursor each div the which div will be highlighted the specific element i'm going to be stop at that okay so this is the div it will be highlighted the basic detail element okay so now i'm going to be take export for this one so here i'm going to be take uh, okay this is the one so control f div class equal to class name so you have to notice here this class name contain space for removing the space I'm going to be use contains because the contains will um, occupy that space also so contains at class put comma then you have to remove the space okay you can close brace so it will be highlighted next so it will be highlighted all the details the first div does not contain that booking system availability so the next element only will be available sorry so next also does not available the third hotel only contain this element right so this is the basic deal so here this is the div only it will be covering this text right see how to look at this I already closed to here itself this uh, text will be um, stored under this div uh, tag right so now what I'm going to be do I'm going to be take what is this uh, this element parent tag another one div so this is the parent div I'm going to be take um, this attribute because once I click on this div all the element will be uh, hidden right in that case I confirmed this is the div only it will be covering all the basic detail uh, element okay now I'm going to be take this attribute value put double slash div class attribute name this is the attribute value right so here I can see the 50 element matching so all the hotels, so which are the hotel containing the element which is the uh, promotion box element, those element will be highlighted, right? 
so now after clicking on this div then i can see i so again i have to take another one div which is promotion tip this is the div only uh, inside in this div only this uh, text will be available right so in that case okay double slash div because basically if you take text we are using text or content text this is the um, format we are using in xpath right i am using content text because this uh, element contained more space for clearing that space i am using content text okay contain text space so it will be highlighted 27 element yeah the same element only still i can see it will be highlighted okay so then i am going to be put this uh, the specific text so deal of the day i just copy this text paste it here so it is taking very small okay so when i uh, pasted the whole text it is not highlighted because this text contain double quotes right so if without double quotes contain space means that time the contain text will be consider uh, this text but here i can see double quotes also i am not able to uh, covering this uh, when i try to uh, copy this uh, element with double quotes i am not able to capture the whole text with double quotes in that text uh, in that case what i am going to be do i just remove everything okay there is one um, access is available which is normalized space that's what i'm using normalize space so normalize space so this normalize space will support this double quotes also okay equal now how to give sorry deals of the day right this is the text right copy and paste inside single quotes now it will be highlighted right see deals of the day one it will be highlighted have you find in um, right side sorry left side right so this is the way i have to take x path which text containing double quotes so here you have to remember normalize space this normalize space xpath access will support for uh, the uh, which uh, text contain double quotes okay when i try to do uh, before contain text that time it won't support it so in that case you have to use normal space this is the way how to um, take xpath for um, which text containing double quotes okay so i just copy and i put in here that time you will be get clear i just maximize this. okay see this is the uh, the whole div then i can take uh, the parent div of this text and see clear fix hotel or else i can take uh, this one. see the clear fix hotel then um, so then promotion box flux this is the um, closing div for this uh, the specific element then another one div is containing right so that div only covering this uh, deal of the day text right in that case i didn't uh, use the tag name directly uh, i'm using normalize space equal to the text so that time this uh, div will be covering this text in that case we don't want mention this another one div okay so directly i given this deal of the day text it will be highlighted okay 
so this is the matching element which will be displayed so which uh, hotel uh, element you want you, you just take uh, x path according to that and how else you have to looping that one or else you have to store in the list okay this is the way how to take x path for which text containing double quotes okay thank you guys